Thanks for joining us backstage for this entire virtual series. We've talked about all the challenges of COVID-19. Today, we want to talk about solutions. So we asked our experts, how do we build upon all that innovation from COVID-19 and use them to our advantage in the future? That's a big motivation behind the president's proposal for something called ARPA-H, the Advanced Research Project Agency for Health. Uh, we want to have a component of NIH that can do things like that, to be very nimble, to be able to take risks. I think that's the way we could make some of the next big leaps. People, I think, are um, we're social creatures and we, we need to interact with one another in, in person, but also much of the work in clinical trials is probably unnecessary. We can do things virtually and eliminate the unnecessary. I think we're most challenged by the fact that we have healthcare disparities and we have to focus on making sure we're getting the right innovations to the right people that we're reducing those arbitrary barriers. And if this becomes an everyday conversation, everybody wins. There's been a lot of healthcare that's been neglected and or missed from individuals across the board, whether they're underserved or in, in highly affluent areas. We really need to treat healthcare services with a sense of urgency, just like we are with the pandemic. Primary challenges in mental health going back decades and very, very well documented across all populations you know, number one, stigma. So what the pandemic uh, sort of accelerated was the opportunity to really jump past to stigma-free alternatives to care. The problem has gotten bigger, but our solutions have really gotten a lot more flexible as well. I'm an eternal optimist, so that is always my vantage point. Um, it's, I mean, it's incredible to see the number of new innovations, but I think even more exciting than that is enterprise healthcare embracing those new models. Let's just put in the effort so that we can sustain these changes as opposed to it just being a blip.